set record, but has Ramon been having a favorable record on this lately? No. I feel like I've seen him win once, or maybe I'm just hallucinating. Bro, I was looking for Bowser Jr. in the characters, and I kept typing Ramon, and I didn't show up. I just associate him with his character. Bowser Jr. is a Ramon main. That is the canon now. Alrighty, we got Mr. Versteis versus Ramon. And these two, I believe, are like training partners. They play a lot together. Um, Ramon definitely has a very similar play style, I'd say. Just very patient, really focused on stage control. And uh, I think watching these two can be pretty interesting. It's like a battle of wits. Okay. Getting the little up air train. Look how classic matchup. First ace, Ramon M64. So let's see it. Oh, nice little, uh, little, little, little something there. F smash call out. Not gonna quite take it yet. I don't know. Oh, and this is the this is the Rob classic right here. Trying to find the refobble. There's the rotor arm. He doesn't need the robble. He's already at 176. I think uh, something changed in Ace lately. Mm -hmm. He's like, I will now tilt my stick to the right and push the B button. <laughs> and I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was like that. <laughs> like he had like gave it. him a new food and he's like, oh yeah, that's right. I like sushi and side being now. Oh, okay. No, I think he just like, <laughs> he tried DMT for the first time. And he was just like, I can rotor arm. You it's want, a thing I can do. His mind expanded. He wanted the Rogan podcast. The Rogan. <laughs> DMT. Look how fucking plus this shit is. Is it this bear? Or it's sword throw upwards. Watch this. Whoa. What? what did I just- Isn't her grab like frame 8 too? Yeah. That's stupid. <laughs> what? Why is that bad? It's specifically up throw on the sword. It's stupid plus for some reason. I guess- Oh, there's the F smash. Oh my god, and Ramon already down to his last stock here. I guess it would be it would make sense because it has the highest velocity of the throws. So maybe that's what makes it safer. I don't know. Smash Bros is weird. There's always some dumb equation that makes something ridiculous. Water in this game is funny. That's gonna kill. Yep. Deleted. Teleported express lane to the blast zone. Express elevator. Hell. You're there. Now go. Okay. Now. Ramon just has to hit him with the Bowser Jr. zero to death. Twice. That's all it is. He's got this. All right. Ace interrupting the zero to death, unfortunately. Very un very insisting, unkind of Ace insisting that he's going to play the game. Okay, but let's see what he's got. Oh, but the bear and another bear. Oh, man. This is, yep. Oh, not going to take it. I mean, I, f I should have figured it wasn't going to, but I mean, I never know what this whack character, dude. Laser and Ramon is just building percent. All right, let's see. Oh, this is just so, so hard to deal with if you're Ramon, this Rob pressure, dude. Oh, big parry from Ace. And he is at 155 and Ace is just like, no, I don't have to kill him. What do you mean? In there, and that's going to take it. Yeah. Man, that's a... Uh, that was rough looking, to be, to be perfectly honest. But I'm sure Ramon can take this one back. He's magic. Oh, strong patch tonight. Oh, are they going to patch Chaos? Me. They're making... Yeah, they are. Yeah, I won. What was the score? 3-1. You're nice. playing next against Jimbert on stream. Yes. On stream? The yeah. strive patch is tonight. You're on deck. Yes, yeah, Akaya. Chaos no, is getting Shinmas. changed. So Chaos is getting changed. I don't, know if, I don't even know him? if I'd say nerfed. No, yeah. this, this. Would you like? Oh, thank you. I don't know if I would say nerfed because, like, or well, yeah, he's getting nerfed. He can't like full screen zone you anymore. That's like, Because like, so you know how when he shoots, concentration goes down. The concentration now goes down more the further away from him you are. Yeah. So it's not as you can't really zone him anymore. You can't really full screen zone him anymore unless you have a super focus up. Ramon counterpicking the battlefield here. He already has two guns. I mean, like use active. He does. He does jump slash. When you're training and you're shooting, you should be able to use both of them. So pop, 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 all A, 
three bullets. Can you do that? Do you two more gun meters? <laughs> That's what Chaos needs, more meters. Alright. Ramon counterpicking here to Battlefield. But this is, uh... I know that Ace likes this stage, but I imagine you really want this to kind of get the platform extensions and also avoid the uh, gyro BS this character uh, Rob has. So you know, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've been I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been talking about this a lot with uh, you know my uh, my roommates and and some of my friends and shit like that. But I have been getting so burned out from the idea of Smash Ultimate. You have no idea. What do you mean, like the idea of Ultimate? Like, like I don't. I don't have very much fun running events for it anymore. Really? Really? really. Um, uh, I don't, like, particularly enjoy the game right now. Um, I like watching it at, at like, top level. And, uh, but I don't know. There's Maybe it's just the Sacramento scene, but there's something about the sack players and, like, the characters that they play. It's either the most, like, scrimble shit ever, or it's just, like, like a seven-minute match of, like, Peach and Min Min camping each other back-to-back, -back, you know? Uh, I see what you mean. I don't really agree, but I definitely see where you're coming from. But I also have been running n basically non-stop ultimate events for the last... I mean, the last year, obviously, since we've been back from quarantine, but since the game has come out, so almost four years now. Yeah. Um, and um, I don't know, man. There's something... It's like... It's like losing its its novelty for me. Um, I uh, I can see why you would say that for sure. It's um, been really stagnant, also, like in our local scene for like the players that yeah do that. well. Like it's it's never a toss up. It's like yeah, sometimes like MFA gets upset by solid tips, which is hype, and like sometimes like gets upset by pure salt, which is hype. But like it's like yeah, they're fighting Karama for second yeah. place, and um, other than that, like. You can pretty much predict, like, top five at any given time. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do agree with you. And, uh, I don't know, I just, like, Bay tournaments seem slightly oh, more appealing to an extent, just because there's so much diversity with upsets and who's winning and who's losing, and, oh, that's rough, fast-following yeah. that shit. Um... So it's like, yeah, but that's, that's at least like multiple people. Like basically Karama wins every event if he's there. Yeah. That's, that's just Sacramento right now. Like pre-quarantine, it wasn't as bad like gamers era because it was like, okay, Chris is contending him, you know, uh, Verse Ace is contending Chris, like Zach is contending Chris. Like, you know, there's like a bunch of players that are contending Karama and right now, Nobody is. Like, he told me today, like, he's getting bored of tournaments because, like, I mean, he's just coming out. It's like a, it's like becoming a chore or a job yeah. for him. So, I don't know, man. I, I try to, like, encourage people to cheer for each other and to, like, you know, support their friends, but everyone's too afraid of, like, getting judged by, like, cheering for their friends. I'm like, dude, just do it. Like, who yeah. cares? And it's like, I see people get, like, mad. Um, like when they're getting cheered against and I'm like, bro, like you, you can't expect to go to a public event and not have people cheer for their friends. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what you want. Like put on fucking noise canceling headphones if it bothers you that much. Yeah. Like I offer them on the stream setup, just wear them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. I mean, like I, I, I mean, I have like an attention disorder, so that kind of fucks with me, but I just have earphones now. Yeah, but, like, you know, I definitely wouldn't understand why you uh, think that, like, Strive is comparatively so much more appealing. There's going to be the bear. You would or you don't. No, I do see. And even, like, Melee, it's, like, the crowd is a lot more fun. Like, it's, it's less, like, they're less tightly wound. Like, there's there's people that obviously care about winning and they want money and they want to, to beat each other. But it's, like, you know, this, it, it obviously is less of a thought. Like, they don't need the money as bad. Like, it mm -hmm. might just be like an age difference thing. Like all the melee players are in like you know twenty five plus range, so they yeah. most of them have like you know full time jobs and are you know well enough paid to just have it be a hobby, right? Yeah. I feel yeah. like the Smash Ultimate demographic is like they care too much about it being like their job, or like looking at it as like as like a road to being their job. But mm -hmm. it's like you know I'm I'm not trying to like be discouraging or anything like that, but it's it is. 
it is a hard place to succeed at and you should just enjoy your time and hang out with your friends and mm -hmm. and cheer for your buddies and like that's what it's all about mm -hmm. uh ace won that last game or Ramon did i think ace won can someone confirm for me in chat Yeah, like it, it's it's so unique. Like it's such a unique region. We're so Sacramento's so quiet, and it's just the ultimate players. Mm -hmm. The Strive players are loud as shit. The melee players are loud as shit. Like, it feels like you're in a tournament with forty people when you're at a Strive or a melee event. But mm -hmm. with Smash Ultimate, it's like it feels like a. I don't know, man. It just it feels like everybody is just minding their own business and doing their own thing, and they don't want to associate with anybody else. Like, talk to somebody that's outside of your little three-friend click, please. Yeah. The amount of times that I come here and I see people, like... But, like, at the same time, like, like Cav, I would love to, but, you know, I'm busy running all these fucking events. It's... I have a very, very full schedule, and on the days that I'm not running a tournament, I'm just so exhausted. Like, mm -hmm. you know, this... This, uh... Thank you. Let me update that. This last week, I've run four tournaments that all took uh, a minimum of 10 plus hours out of my day. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm like, you know, I'm a, I'm just exhausted right now. I was exhausted yesterday after I finished three back to back to back tournaments. It is sad. It really is. People need to like, like pick up the heat. I enjoyed myself more this last Tuesday with Guilty Gear Strive running that bracket, running that event, than I have in like the last year of running Ultimate Tournaments, and it wasn't close. We out here being depressed. Well, it's not depressed. I'm just like, I just wish that y'all were more exciting, and this game was a little bit more exciting sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, Ultimate is fun when Reno or Senkal crowds come, or both. Yeah. It's really fun when both of them are there, but the Sacramento scene by themselves, it's just like, they're a bunch of little Doomer kids. I don't know what else to say. It's like on Special? Wednesday, oh, I could hear people spike. screaming nice. through the fucking walls, and I'm in a soundproof, like, I'm in a soundproof office where I run my broadcast from, and I could hear, like, like the entire fucking venue screaming, and I'm like, "Damn!" Was, was Wednesday in melee? No, sorry, Tuesday. Tuesday. I, I, Go. yeah. I had to put on earplugs. Yeah, Wagner literally had to put earplugs on, and I'll be there next Tuesday. Damn! It's, it, it's a, it was an amazing event. I had so much fun. Like the scene is super nice. Like they're all really like cheerful and like having a good time. Like, like it's that same situation where I don't think any of them really cared about like. Obviously, they want to win, but they don't care about it for the money. They just want to win because they want oh, to win. Oh, nice. Up smash. Looking that. Looking good. The melee was also super hype. Like, it was a lot of fun. Uh, second place spent more on his bar tab than he got back in winnings, and his winnings was like $65. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I need a villain. I need somebody. I need somebody to be such an asshole without like like dancing around that edge of like almost being banned that and everybody dislikes them so much that they cheer against him specifically or them specifically like like for better or for worse that's what draken used to be <laughs> like everybody would cheer against for whoever draken was playing against yeah. and it would just like yeah. it was noisy it would get fun it would get crazy because he was like the villain can't really fake that either. no you can't fake that shit We do. We have some people that do that, but it's like <laughs> we need Draken to save Sacramento. Yeah. I think a lot of the people that don't care about what other people think are just quiet. Yeah. Well, it's like you know Ross was like out there cheering really loud today, Ross like when Akaya was, was playing. Ross was and he the was loudest. the only one out there that was like screaming. Lo yeah, Ross was the loudest person on that set by like a factor of five. I was trying, but I can't. <laughs> I cannot mask Ross's. I cannot match Ross's energy. You don't have to match it. It's just supposed to be like... Like, there's always going to be one person that's way louder than everybody else. That's just, you know, 
I can scream really fucking loud. I can project really, really loud. Like, I will usually be the loudest person in the room, like, if I'm trying to be. But it's like, I'm not expecting other people to match that volume. I'm expecting to not be the only one yeah. anywhere near that volume, you know? Yeah. All right, come on, Ace. Come on. There you go. Genesis was amazing. It was so fun, yeah. Like, Genesis, I had a great time, even though I worked for, like, 36 hours across the span of the weekend. Um, yeah, it was, like, fucking during Top 8, like, eight French guys out cheered all of the North American crowd in the entire venue. Yeah, that was pretty That was pretty disgusting that that happened. Disgusting for us. Like, yeah, that I shouldn't know, be I mean, the case. Or... We shouldn't be getting out cheered by eight French guys always the doing the combo. Death. There's the zero to death coming right out. And it was like, damn, I wish I was, like, one of those guys. I wish that my friends or whoever would cheer that loud at tournaments. Like, that's just so fun. It's so much better. We should get... <laughs> Next time, we should get, like, a like a rat pack together. I even tried, like, bribing people. Like, I was, like, a couple... Like, not, not last Fire and Ice, but the Fire and Ice before that. I was like, yeah, whoever rallies the the most volume like because you know obviously there's usually an instigator that starts cheering and then a bunch yeah. of other people start like getting hype whoever like rallies the most volume at any given point in time i would have given free entry to you know the tournament later in the week or the whatever whatever other tournament they attended because i want that kind of environment and mm -hmm. nobody oh, nobody earned it <laughs> nobody earned it yeah I, it's, it's, no I, one even tried. You need to turn. I'm telling you, like le, like last fire and ice, you got to turn. I don't I go. I like. Off. I said it today. Like I I ask Scrungo, ask anybody that was here. Like before the tournament was started, I was like, you know, rallying off like the general info, like you know where the numbers on the setups were and the rules and, and like people you know, were being loud. <laughs> and and I was like, yeah. Also, uh, be loud for your friends like cheer like i, I want to hear that shit happen like if you complain to me about people being loud and disrupting you i'm not going to do gonna anything about you. it i'm literally not going to do anything because i want that to happen yeah. i've had like i've had like people come and complain to me after you know they played sets at like fire and ice when like reno is cheering for reno and yeah. like i'm like bro it's a f yeah it's a public fucking venue it's a public venue you're gonna go and you're gonna go be like oh man I wish we would have a private tournament only right. for respectful people. That shit was insane. It was so fun. And it was like, those tournaments, for me... All right, I'll grind Strive over the weekend with Ryan and then show up Tension Tuesday. You should. Not? It was amazing. It's it's, it's such a fun week. event. It's running this week, right? Yeah, of course. It's going to be I'm weekly. I'm super down. I'll, I'll bribe. I'll make sure Ryan can show up. It's a completely different environment, dude. It's, yeah. it's like I night, it's I night and day. I remember when I went to, to WNF, I was like, Damn. Imagine that, but three times the amount of people. Yeah, no, I would be super down. Because we had 36 entrants for Strive this last week. I'm still just garbage. Like, barely it's shy <laughs> of Ultimate, right? I'm still just Garbo at Strive, unfortunately. You don't have to be good. Like, not only... Okay, so the thing with Strive and the FGC that I've noticed the biggest difference with, like, in comparison to Ultimate, is that uh, there's such a fucking wealth of knowledge for, for the FGC, right? Even games that don't follow, like, the same cookie-cutter as other FGC titles, right? Because yeah. Strive is clearly, like, you know, there's been a multiple other installments in the Guilty Gear series, but none of them, like, quite play like Strive plays. Like, there's yep. just different mechanics. It just the, it flows differently. But it's, like, there's still such a wealth of, like, knowledge and experience that somebody that's, like, a veteran in the FGC community can come out and play a game that isn't their, you know, base game yeah. and have a good enough understanding of how it should be played and... Uh, that they can give you really good information, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And even if it's just like general, like positioning, like how to how to think about neutral, like mm -hmm. like little little tips and oh, this is it. little tips and quips about their oh, character, no, it's like not. like the percentage of players that can actually give you viable information as opposed to Smash Bros is just astronomically different. Yeah, like you can go. Old. It's like you you go. What's up? Okay. Um, I'm, s I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I know, I know. It's Wait, you, I could give you a ride home. Oh, actually, no, you'd leave your car here. Never mind. Yeah, I might. Yeah, is June still here? Uh, June, I think. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. I'll if you need someone to play, I'll just yeah, do it. I don't really care. Fun event, all the, keep, keep up the good work, dude. You're amazing. Yeah, I'm sorry you had to leave, man. Yeah, no, it's fine. I gotta get going. All right, through. drive safe. That sucks. If you need me to, I can... If you need someone to get out there, I can do it. 